From rampant shark attacks, parasites that eat your genitals, lion-infested seashores, inescapable quicksand, to volcanic eruptions, and even toxic waste. Don't say you haven't been warned. Behold, 10 of the world's deadliest beaches. Chowpati Beach, Mumbai With the Ganges River, rated the second most polluted river in the world, we're talking a waterway where people lay their dead to rest. Then it comes as no surprise that this sandy retreat is one of the world's most polluted beaches. Chowpati Beach in Mumbai is so bad, it's illegal to swim there. In fact, the sands are so convoluted with garbage and debris from salvaged ships that the once sparkling beachfront has become a dump site. The water is brimming with waste and runoff from the nearby city of Mumbai. What's more, the conditions worsened after the 2011 catastrophe, in which a vessel known as the MV Rack sunk, unleashing 60,000 metric tons of coal into the ocean. Polluted beaches may not seem as dangerous as one cautioning shark attacks or riptides, but they are far more hazardous to our health than one might think. According to the US Environmental Protection Agency, Coming into close contact with contaminated water can result in severe illness, E. coli, diarrhea, and sore throats. Children and elderly people with weak immune systems are especially susceptible to infection by bacteria-infested waters, and with sewage making the once pristine beachfront unrecognizable, it would be wise for anyone to stay away. 9. Hanakapiai Beach, Hawaii A clear indicator of dangerous water is when even professional surfers know better than to hang 10 with the big waves here, which is too bad for a beach so beautiful. It belongs on the glossy cover of a postcard, the spectacular two-mile hike up the Emerald Hills to Hanakapaiai Beach on the island of Kauai lends a lookout reminiscent of paradise. Don't let looks deceive you though, as here the sparkling waters are as deadly as they come. Due to the beach's high risk factor, there is no trail for visitors which means the surrounding areas have been left unexplored. Save for one wooden post, for warning a high death toll. The sign's own plea for the brave to refrain oftentimes goes ignored, as clearly carved in wood are the number of fatalities which continue to climb. Hanakapiai Beach offers incredibly strong rip currents, which are famous for their ability to pull swimmers under and drown them in seconds. Second, the lack of a coral reef contributes to the power of the currents as there is no barrier with which to keep swimmers safe from harsh waves. Too many daring divers have been swept out to sea with the tide, as this Hawaiian haven is responsible for 83 deaths within its merciless waves. 8. Skeleton Coast, Namibia It's named Skeleton Coast, must we say more? The chilling coastline is rightly named due to the Benguela Current, which is notorious for causing death by shipwreck. Below these treacherous waters, the seabed pays homage to a sinister sight of scattered skulls and bones. If that weren't enough, its waves are home to 11 different species of shark. Stay away from this seascape swarming with sharks and spirits, and you're reasonably safe. Venture on land, however, and behold a new plethora of danger ahead. Lions and hyenas are only a few of the predators which roam the sandy shores of this South African coastline. These beasts are often spotted patrolling the cliffs and beachfronts, and when they perish, their skeletons soon become part of the ambience too. The dry red sands of Skeleton Coast, stretching 500 kilometers long, are virtually uninhabited and painstakingly untamed, taking its name from the thousands of bones littered throughout and the hundreds of ships that have wrecked over the centuries. The creatures that roam are a subtle reminder that the living doesn't linger long. As even Portuguese navigators know to avoid the place they call the Gates of Hell. A fair warning in itself for anyone who dares venture near. Before we continue, take a moment to subscribe to What Lurks Below and hit the bell to get notified. 7. Gansby, South Africa Fanatics of Shark Week will fall in love with Shark Alley. This beachy hotspot can be found in Gansby. South Africa and has been nicknamed the Great White Shark Capital of the World. The cause is the vast community of seals, which attracts herds of these seething saltwater predators. And what's more, this popular vacation destination has figured out a way to let you swim with these beasts. 
from the protection of your own cage, of course. Shark cage diving has provided the ultimate adrenaline rush for thrill-seekers since skydiving became a been-there-done-that thing of the past. For anyone who has a fear or love of great white sharks, cage diving allows one to be up close and personal with these terrifying marine monsters. What draws the sharks to the thin parameters of the cage for a friendly face-off? The hundreds of pounds of blood and chum dumped along the South African shoreline every day. This attempt to lure sharks towards speedboats brimming with tourists doesn't sound like a pleasant afternoon in the water or a calm day at the beach. 6. Kilauea, Hawaii Since the year 1500, about 280,000 people have been killed by volcanoes. Yet despite three active sites found on the majestic Hawaiian islands, when we think of this tropical region of the globe, we'd still think of paradise with crystal clear waters under palms that sway to the rhythm of soft island music. Hawaii is a beach lover's dream. And this spot of beach, aptly named after its local volcano, Kilauea, makes no exception. With its splendid facade of black sand, Kilauea is not only active, but has been continuously erupting for the past 35 years. When it does, the Earth's fiery core spews an avalanche of scorching lava every which way, causing the surrounding terrain to have turned from sugar crystal white to the colour of soot. Unfortunately, the glistening particles of black sand only look attractive. To the touch, the volcanic fumes and ashes can be deadly. The sooty sediment infiltrates eyes and lungs, putting babies, children and the elderly at risk of health problems, as their weakened immune systems make them more susceptible to infection. Hot lava enters the sea as well, with temperatures reaching 110 degrees in what can only be described as a boiling inferno from hell. Beachgoers would be wise to stay away from Kilauea Beach, as the sand's dust particles lead to serious respiratory problems, and a quick dip in the sea is the human equivalent of throwing a live lobster into a pot of boiling water. 5. Playa Zipolite, Mexico it's gorgeous, it offers sweeping aquamarine views of the nautical North Pacific, it's nicknamed the Beach of Death. While Playa Zipolite, Mexico looks like a striking oasis, the waters promise strong and fatal undercurrents. The increased popularity of this sandy retreat has implemented a special team of lifeguards to tend those in danger, yet this sunny hotspot on the southern coast of Waxa State doesn't guarantee you'll leave the water alive. Even with the rescue team hard at work, there is still an alarmingly frequent number of deaths, despite the toll being cut in half since the lifeguards entered the scene. And on a quiet day, with warning signs expelling Spanish tourists who mindlessly wade into the majestic waters, tend to be oblivious of the beach's history and the prevailing riptides. The currents here travel in circular patterns, with adjacent flows that move in opposite directions of one another, making it easy for swimmers to either get pulled outward were pulled toward the shore with the rushing waters. Beachgoers are best staying on land, tossing around beach balls and sipping ice-cold Coronas, than braving the brisk waters of this deadly refuge. 4. Morecambe Bay, Lancashire, UK The Guardian depicts this next beach as a treacherous place, as Morecambe Bay in Lancashire, UK is like an obstacle course of doom, in which none of the twists or turns can be trusted. The largest expanse of mudflats and sands in the whole of England, this estuary implores the faint of heart to stay away. The proof is in the type of equipment yielded for fishing endeavours alone. For example, a horse and cart or tractor and trailer may seem like an odd choice to use for a simple day of catching some fish, yet this is the only way. Fishermen have no choice but to travel with heavy machinery or horse-drawn contraptions in order to venture onto the hazardous sand flats, it's in order to reach shellfish grounds and shrimping channels before the tide rushes in. Recently, a group of 19 Chinese cockle pickers were not so lucky. Having found themselves unable to read the warning post in English, the team ventured down near the shore, where they were swiftly caught by the tide and drowned. Morecambe Bay is beautiful, yet deadly, with its combinations of fast tides, quick sinking sand, draining rivers, shifting channels, and utter unpredictability that has rattled the impudent for centuries. Oftentimes the machinery itself becomes victims of the bay, as sinking pits swallow them whole, never to be seen again. 3. Amazon Beaches, South America Rivers have beaches too, and the Amazon is known for its rich biodiversity, 
In fact, the waters are populated with 2,500 different species of fish here. With the harmless critters come the horrifying, as the lively currents pay respect to a variety of scary creatures. Anacondas ride through the lapping waves along the riverbank, electric eels sting, a piranhas nibble, and vampire fish, also known as the kandiru, a parasite famous for crawling into a man's genitals, eat away at one's insides. Slowly. And that's just inside the water. Along the banks of the Amazon River, modern-day pirates find thievery easy, with the hundreds of smaller rivers at their fingertips to allow these criminals a quick and easy escape. On the shores, there is an abundance of gang-related crimes, such as drug trafficking and robbery. Venture to the beaches of the Amazon, that is, if jungle shadows don't lure you toward the water, and the water's jaws of death don't send you running towards land. 2. New Smyrna Beach, Florida New Smyrna Beach, Florida, a place named by the Guinness Book of World Records as the shark attack capital of the world, doesn't ring well in one's ears. It also doesn't sound like a place you'd want to go for a relaxing afternoon at the beach. Despite New Smyrna Beach as an absolute beauty and the quintessential Florida summer retreat, it has a daunting reputation. With a record-breaking 238 shark attacks under its belt, the University of Florida's International Shark Attack File recorded 9 shark attacks for 2017, down a whopping 15 from the year before. While this may sound like good news, that is, decreased chances of sharing a friendly afternoon swim with Jaws, the number still puts visitors of New Smyrna Beach at more risk for shark attacks than anywhere else on the planet. What happens when you combine large groups of tasty fish with epic swells, you ask? Ravenous sharks and super stoked surfers? Yet unfortunately, the two don't mix very well. Every summer when the sun is at its peak, the scenario described brings an influx of fish, swimmers and underwater attacks. Sharks merely mistake them for large fish. After all, they don't even like the taste of human flesh. This mistake is realised a little too late in the game, of course, after a hefty bite is already taken. Beautiful scenery mixed with fear doesn't sound like a relaxing combination, and certainly aren't worth the risk. If swimming with sharks isn't on your summer bucket list, avoid New Smyrna Beach, Florida. 1. Cape Tribulation, Australia Australia has a fierce reputation for its dangerous beaches, and this one makes no exception. Instead of worrying about raucous riptides or blood-hungry sharks, this sand sanctuary offers a new kind of threat. An encounter not one, but four deadly predators. Cape Tribulation, a beach famed for its misfortune, implores that anyone wanting to spend their holiday on this serene seashore wear a specialised stinger suit, the cause being the box jellyfish, the most dangerous and venomous jellyfish in the world, which can grow up to 11 inches wide, with tentacles reaching up to 6 feet long. They're transparent in the water, which makes them almost impossible to see, and can be found in massive swarms along the coast of Northern Territory of Australia. If the need for a special beach outfit isn't enough to keep adventure enthusiasts at bay, how about the notion that the sting from a box jellyfish is so painful some victims suffer from cardiac arrest before making it back to shore? What's worse, attempting to remove the tentacles from a sting will often result in the release of more venom, with the risk of death occurring in just five minutes' time. Box jellyfish have been responsible for at least 70 deaths since 1883. You've got your sting suit and you're ready to go, but not without fending off the saltwater crocodiles, which are also prevalent to Cape Tribulation. The locals strongly urge visitors to stay away from the mouths of the rivers, as here, one has much greater odds of coming face to face with a gaping mouth of reptilian teeth. Venomous snakes can also be found weaving through sand dunes and beach brush, but those are harmless compared to the cassowaries. That is, giant flightless birds whose dagger-sharp claws have been known to disembowel their prey. These creatures can weigh up to 160 pounds and closely resemble an emu. Having been dubbed the scariest birds in the world, cassowaries are known for their aggressive nature and a reputation for inflicting injuries upon humans. Lastly, one must avoid an unwarranted encounter with a force known as the stinging tree. The heart-shaped leaves and luscious berries can be deceiving, as the jagged edges will emit a painful sting to anyone who dares reach for one of the succulent fruits. The stinging tree will zap the skin with a painful sting that lasts several hours. Cape Tribulation wasn't named after bad luck for nothing. 
The name itself serves as a fair warning for travellers far and wide. That and the jellyfish, snakes, crocodiles, man-sized fowl and angry trees which reside there. Have you been to any of the beaches mentioned on our list? If so, let us know your experience in the comments section below. We may even include it in a future video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to What Lurks Below for more terrifying tales of the deep.